Will you ask or will he ask the next question? You have got one? Yes. <coughs> Please. <coughs> it's concerning uh, the Sahabi Abdullah uh, Sanori uh, about the ink spots which were in the clothes of the Promised Messiah, peace be on him. Uh, I want personally to understand how scientifically we can understand such an incident. <coughs> science follows facts and if science cannot explain certain facts but facts are most certainly authentic then it is unscientific to reject the facts. The scientists can explain a large number of facts but still, in this advanced stage, they cannot explain a few more facts about the scientific evidence. And this is how the knowledge of science grows. With the passage of time, there is always something left unexplained or left with as such as not, it is not satisfactorily explained. So, first of all, remember this, that this evidence which was which Ahmadi literature talks about, which so many people witnessed with their own eyes, is so strong and so positive that any sane man, no sane man can reject this, even if he understands it or not. For instance, when this, uh, these red spots were noticed by Abdullah Sanawi Sahib on the clothes of Hazrat Muslim Wasallam. He saw them appear on the clo clothes, but uh, he looked up and there was no, uh, you know, no animal, no bird, nothing, which could have been injured and whose blood drops might have been showered on Hazrat Muslim Wasallam. The f roof or the ceiling was absolutely clean and it was so polished that nothing could stick to it. But it's not only this, he looked up and saw there was nothing. So that is what, he, what amazed him. And then either he you know, produce some noise of disturbance or whatever happened. As Muslim Islam got up and uh, when he pointed to these, as Muslim Islam told him that he was seeing in a vision, in dream but clear like a vision, that he had presented some papers to God for signing and he dipped his pen in a red ink and through the extra inks you know hanging by the pen pens and nibs end and did it like this and that caused these signs these uh, red ink marks now it is very interesting that this these signs were not only found on the body of Muslim Islam but when later on Abdullah Sanori Sahib looked at his own turban, on the top of that turban was that design. <laughs> if a capillary had burst, sometimes the capillaries burst, then they also ooze out some blood and you can see the sign of the, the, of the presence of these small spots. But how could that have jumped up to the top and uh, also, uh, you know, reddened the turban he was wearing at that time? Because from underneath the clothes, the capillaries could burst, but they could only touch the clothes which were covering them. Moreover, this is a phenomenon which should happen more often than just once. Hazrat Basima never suffered from this disease. The burst of capillary is a phenomenon which should continue. 
such people become patients and from time to time their capillaries burst. And there was no sign on his skin of any damage. He never consulted any doctor, ne never thought any need of doing so. So the evidence of such people who are known all their lives to be completely, absolutely truthful. This evidence is much more and much greater than the evidence nowadays presented on television and modern papers of people whose uh, life we do not, whose previous life we do not know. But of these people we know, they would never tell a lie. So the evidence is very strong. That is why the evidence of prophets is taken to be the most, the strongest evidence because all their lives they have never told a lie. So Muslim Islam, together with Abdullah Salawi Sahib are known to us very clearly never to have said a single word of lie. And as I have told you this evidence is very clear and very specific evidence. But what about nature? How can we see similar things happening in nature? We have seen similar things happening in nature during the time of Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah What about that food which was increased and was sufficient, become, and had become sufficient for the entire army at, uh, at uh, the Battle of the Ditch? but in English it's Battle of the Ditch. The whole army of the Battle of the Ditch witnessed this sign. How can anybody deny? How can a scientist have a right to deny that? And they were empty of stomach and they were filled. Filled to their capacity, got all the energy and started working again. So these things do happen. Maybe scientists after 200 or 300 years begin to produce the evidence, but they have not done so as so far. So as far as the scientific evidence is concerned, scientific explanation is concerned, we have none, I admit. But as far as the evidence of such incidents is concerned, we have evidence beyond a shadow of doubt, so every honest scientist should agree and because of this heavy evidence, we accept this, but so far we have not been able to discover the scientific reason how it could be done. Right? You see the small room where all this happened. As a child, I used to go to that room many times and sit there. It's a very small room covered from all sides and the roof is very clean and slippery. Now even a lizard, if it were a lizard, can hardly move on that slippery uh, ceiling. But lizards can. Lizards of course can. They have the something in their paws which sticks against the... Uh, they create a hollow because of that pressure of air around, they stick on the slippery roofs all right. But it, that lizard had to be injured. And it should have sprinkled the blood all over the room, everywhere. <laughs> and then it should have been detected. Where did that injured lizard disappear? That is the point. Neither a sparrow, in our country in, in those days, there were quite a few sparrows which used to enter the small rooms from some opening. So let's concede. But if a sparrow was bleeding, then it, she should have been noticed. And she should have done it all over the place. But this, these drops fell only on the clothes. Her wishes were wearing, and only on the turban which Abdullah Sanolisa was wearing. And then he searched after Hazrat Bishwar said, look around and see what is there, what there is. 
There was not a sign of any animal, injured or uninjured. No lizard, no sparrow. This is the evidence we are talking about. Herba. Herba. <laughs> Got it? Yes. What do they call it in Arabic? Herba. Lizard.